Hello everybody, it is Nicole from Ikiwi, and today we'll be reviewing the Amuki acrylic paint set that was kindly gifted to me. So let's not waste any time and hop right into the video. It seems like the only place to purchase this is on Amazon and it is currently $26.99. For the packaging, it comes in a cardboard box and inside there is a plastic paint palette, sponge, palette knife, a larger paintbrush, a set of paintbrushes, two 6x8 inch canvases, and the 24 acrylic paints. For the paints, it is non-toxic, and the color name and swatch color are on the tube. Each tube contains 0.74 US fluid ounces, which is approximately 22 milliliters. When you open it up, the paint is sealed, and in order to open it, you have to turn the cap around and use the pointy side to poke a hole. This, however, can be very messy because the pressure is released, so as you see, it kind of squirted out. This did happen to most of the paints, but not all of them, so just be wary that when you open it, it can get a little bit messy. The paint itself is very easy to apply. It goes on very smoothly. I noticed that the darker colors are more opaque, whereas some of the colors like gray seem streaky, and I'll go over more of that in the pros and cons. It also comes with silver and gold, which are slightly shimmery at an angle, but not super metallic. And these paints dry quickly with a semi-shiny finish to it. So I did two tests on this paint. The first one was trying to figure out how many layers I needed to create an opaque wash using both light and dark colors. I noticed that the first layer is kind of streaky depending on the amount of paint, and the second layer is more opaque, especially on the darker color, than the lighter color. And then overall, I just noticed that the more buildup, the darker the color gets. As for the second test, I wanted to test the opacity or opaqueness, so I used three different tones, yellow, which is the light color, blue, which is medium, and purple, which is dark. I used black on one side and white on the other, and I noticed that the black only took one layer to cover completely, whereas the white was very sheer on the first layer, the second was semi-opaque, and then the third was more opaque, so basically as you build up, it will become more opaque. Moving on to the pros and the cons, I'm mainly going to review the paint, but I just want to mention that the paintbrush set that they include is a decent bulk pack. It is not a professional set, but it's good for beginners. For the pros, I like that this set comes with everything included. I created this painting with only the items in this set, with the exception of the water jars and water. There is a good range of colors included, and the paint feels very smooth when applying it to both paper and canvas. The paint is opaque, especially the darker colors. The lighter colors become opaque after a few layers, which is pretty common with acrylics. And I like that it dries quickly, which acrylic paint should. As for the cons, the first layer of paint on this piece was very streaky on the canvas, so I had to do about two to three layers to create a smooth layer. And blending was a little bit challenging, but I think it's just my lack of knowledge in acrylics. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Overall, I think this is a great set for beginners. It comes with everything that you need to get started. And I also think it would be a good gift set for kids because it is safe since it is non-toxic, and it lets them experiment with acrylics since it includes everything they need. I hope you found this review useful or helpful in any way. If you did and want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of when I post a new video. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!